Hi, I'm Todd Tupper. I work in mountain, develop, mountain product development in Island Park. Today, we're gonna to go through a mid-season tune-up, track adjustment, ski alignment, and so forth. Okay, so now we're gonna do the ski alignment. And the way I like to do it on the Arctic is take the hood off. Side panels come off. Quarter turns. Main harness. That's kind of handy how it just stands up like that. Yeah. 25 torques to take loose the uh, belly pan screws off of the skid pan. You can do the ski alignment without making sure the handlebars are straight. A lot of people get on their sled and make sure their handlebars are straight by looking at the skis or the handlebars. What I like to do is there is a centering hole in the um, bell crank and I like to stick a Phillips screwdriver in there to hold the, the, the bell crank tight that way the handlebars won't move and then I can adjust the handlebar straightness here and then after that's completed then I go to the ski alignment. So in the bottom of the bell crank there's a centering hole Stick the screwdriver up there, make sure the skis are straight, or they don't turn. Then you can get back on the stole bill and make sure your handlebars are straight, which these are turned just a bit, so we'll go ahead and, and uh, loosen up the jam nuts and turn the handlebars so they're a little straighter. which are 14 and a 16 wrench. What are some of the reasons that skis get out of alignment? Hitting like logs in the snow? Yeah, people reefing on skis when they get stuck and they're Hmm. Yanking the stone bill around, it stretches everything out. So if you never get stuck, you never have to align your skis. Is that? Uh, right? I wouldn't say that. It's you don't ever <laughs> yank on the skis or hit anything solid that okay. jars them out of your hands. <laughs> I think we're good. Now just go and tighten it all back up. So is this a mid-season thing that would be a good idea to do or just when you feel like the handlebars are a little skinny wampus? Um, well, this is one of my pet peeves in ski alignment. So I'm always checking mine to make sure it's always straight and if they feel a little out I adjust it but typically in your first initial setup you know the dealer setup should make sure your alignment straight your track tension is right and it's something you know again mid-season just something to go through real quick just to make sure it's all straight okay Run it down the side of the track. 
make sure it's tied up against your track. So this stuff obviously I've built myself. These little guides I put on the bolt so I can see my exact measurements. Now just measure back to the front. With about a sixteenth inch of a toe out, and this one's right on the money, so we'll so we check, have yeah, we'll so we must not side. have hit anything then. You must not have hit anything yet. Yep. Yeah. So how did you make those little cool little measurement things? Um, the rear uh, on the twin rail suspension, the cross brace supports. Mm -hmm. Just milled, put them on the lathe, and milled them up. Oh, nice. So if I don't have really cool ones like that, then what would you suggest? Just measure off of the, the bolt in the center of your high packs. Leave the bar in the same place. Measure it up. This one's right on the money also, so. We're good to go. Perfect. This so, like, what, you guys what, uh, didn't do much damage to this one at all. Yeah, thanks. So, what? What? Why is the purpose of this again? Tell us why we're aligning all this up. Oh, I I think it uh, it gives a better ride. Obviously, you're not fighting the front of the suspension on the trail. When the ski alignment's out, the sled's always wanting to dart and. Uh, the better you keep your ski alignment, the straighter it's going to trail down the down the trail and handle on the mountain. And if you were needing to adjust this on the Arctic, obviously you loosen up your jam nut on your tie rod. Take these loose, pull the rubber back, and on the inside there's another tie rod nut. Loosen it up, and then you just adjust your tie rod in or out, whatever direction you need to go to to make your uh, alignment correct. And while I have the hood off, I always just make a quick observation under the hood, make sure that the um, servo cables are in place and tight, make sure all the exhaust springs are there, which obviously this one's missing one, so we need to find it underneath and get it out of there so it doesn't end up in the clutch and put a new exhaust spring on. 